to Good the point. number one news breaker, Damien Barrett. Welcome, Damo, or as uh, Bomber would say, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Swatter and Wayne and uh, where's, where's Gary? Gary's meant to be here today, wasn't he? Oh, no. But, I, that's a nice little sort of uh, shot across the bow to the man to my left. He, he come in, he's normally up and about on a Saturday afternoon. He has Friday nights off. I'm speaking of Danny Frawley, St Kilda's longest serving captain. Uh, he looks very, very sort of um, quiet, sort of almost cowering in the corner. I'll Welcome, Spud. Even. I'm as low as sharks dropping to the home. <laughs> because, uh, no, during the week, uh, Wolf is on the way, and we'll get on to Wolf. JB's already over the Olympics. I was led to believe by management at uh, Oz Stereo with Damo, one of us was going to be hosting. Now, I've, I was practicing all morning. Then I get a text from you and the producer, Wayne Swash, just come off the bench, sub, <laughs> subbed in, and straight into the hosting chair. <laughs> Warrior, you and I had a chat during the week. We tossed the coin. You were never going to win it. <laughs> I was hosting, and now Swat has just gone bang. We did an hour's practice yesterday. I just yeah. can't believe it. Getting onto the Wolf, uh, there's, there's a couple of things. Last night was a great call, by the way, and we'll get onto the Hawks, but... Yeah, you have got the wolf intimidated. I was uh, listening, and uh, he just seems to agree with everything you say, Duck. Well, how long has he gone for? Now? Two weeks. He's gone for two weeks. Okay, well, I'll have a bit of a crack now that he's gone for a couple of weeks. I don't, I don't know how many times I've told him I don't drink coffee. I, re- I reckon he offered me 10 cups of coffee last night. He wanted to keep getting up. This is during the call. And yeah. I said, mate, I don't drink coffee. Is that he, a normal he, thing that he offers other people he works nah, with on the nah, Friday night? It's mate? Wolf's Way or the highway. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And uh, But I've listened. You know, Duck would bring up a, a but, good comment on the game. Yeah. That's right, Duck. That's right, Wayne. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right again, Wayne. Even even the, uh, you know, we... we we grab a bit of rice uh, before the game. Well, I pulled out my money and said, it's my shit. No, 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 it's my shit. <laughs> Not only that. That's three, three games in a row now he shouted me the no, rice. He's probably out to the air, uh, on the way out to the Olympics, out of the airport now. I think he's flying out about three. And I, I've got to put my hand up. I thought he was, was the lone wolf. But by all reports, I've led to believe, Damo, mm-hmm. that uh, beautiful wife Melissa's going over there uh, to the Olympics. And not only that, he's chaperoning JB's wife, the beautiful Mrs. B, Sarah. So... He's got uh, his beautiful, lovely wife on one hand. He's got Sarah's bags. He's he's like a, he's like a pack horse at the moment, walking up the, the aisles of uh, Tullamarine with all his suitcase. He's got sweat coming off that you know brow of his, and he's trying to smile through his teeth. A little bit of a grit there, because as you know, he's trying to get the upgrade yesterday too. Did he get upgraded yep, from up to uh, premium economy? He's oh, did he? So. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> What? Premium economy. I thought he'd be a first now, class. JB, uh, we've had a text from JB. who's was at the opening ceremony by reports, and uh, he's, he's now just out at Piccadilly Circus somewhere. <laughs> he needs to go to bed. <laughs> Not sure what he's uh, doing, yeah. but um, pull your head in, JB, over there, mate. You, you're a happily married man. <laughs> There well, is a man on the way to the airport that would like a right of reply, and it is the lone wolf. Spud, come in, Gary. Hey, mate. 1A, put me, put my bags there, 1A, and I don't care where those others go. Hello? Oh, oh Mr. Lyon, how are you going? What? Is, he, is Kerry there? <laughs> he's here, all right. He's got the arm. Obviously. I'm here, mate, and I don't need a coffee. Now, I tell you what, if he starts dagging around me again like he did last night, <laughs> and just following me around saying, what do I do now, what do I do now? <laughs> I'm going on holiday. He rang me four times this morning. He said, how do I go today? What do I do? I said, Duck, leave me alone. <laughs> Jesus, I tell you what, Spud, have you grown a foot or two since the big guns are gone? No, I haven't. No, I, oh, you, I, I tell you what, young man, I'm enjoying your comedy, but make the most of this next two weeks. I've got to admit, Gary, I'm like you. I'm a little bit intimidated by the Duck as well. And uh, he's, he's a big man. He's still fit. And, yeah, he... He's basically calling uh, you his bitch at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, tell you. I thought that was a bit too hard, I thought. I, I woke thought that up went this too lo- far, Gary. I woke up this morning. I got five messages. You want me to drop you at the airport on the way down to Geelong? You want me to see you? I said, no, duck. Go and deal with Spud and work him out. Now, yeah, mate, like. you are looking after the uh, your beautiful wife and uh, Mrs. B as well. You're, you're just a man of the people now. Uh, what about JB? You reckon he'd take his wife with him? Honestly. <laughs> He said, no. Nah. I said, hey, I love Mrs. B. I'm happy to travel with him. And I organised it. He rang me up. He said, sucked in. Good luck to that. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm happy with it. Uh, uh, but what I am going to do, I'm going to talk to the pilot. I'm going to make sure I can get it all sort of the call shooted through to me, uh, Spud, because, you know, you can't have an opinion unless I give it first. So I'll, give you, I'll tell you what's going on in the air, and then you can run with it. Guess what are you doing over there in London again? Uh, social commentator. Um... <laughs> 
got to try and capture the colour of the whole event for everyone back here in Melbourne. So I'll be sort of working. There's a total of about 10 hours working in two weeks, isn't it? Yeah, if but you, Damo, as you know now, number 43, most important man, it's not what goes on air, it's the behind-the-scenes stuff that's <laughs> important. So I'll be up early, I'll work all night, and I'll try and capture it for you and send it down the line. Oh, OK. Yeah, no, we're, oh, a bit right, flat. Right, no, we're a bit right. flat with that, but Bill's um, like a dag on a sheep's backside as well. Bill Brownless, he's dagging around coming over tomorrow, by all reports as well, our own Triple M yeah. boy. Yeah, no, well, at least I've got a modicum of work to do. At least I've got a tiny little bit that I can hang my hat on. He's got nothing. Nothing. Not one single thing. He's just coming over and he's going to try and get his head on tally so he can claim it as a tax deduction, and that's about it. Well, that's enough, mate. We've had enough of you. We uh, we need to get back on the foot. You have a good trip over there and just uh, just a pack horse there with uh, Sarah and Mel's bag. So good luck over there, uh, Wolf. Thought it needed a lift, so I just rang in. Keep up the good work. Enjoy, sir, Gary. (laughs) 